lockdowns in two days at Dighton Rehoboth Regional High School. Yesterday, threats were found written inside the boys' bathroom. Today, bullets and graffiti found in that same location. Now, a joint investigation is underway. 12 News reporter Chelsea Jones is live outside the high school with how parents and students are reacting. Chelsea? Well, with the mass shooting out of Uvalde, Texas, on the minds of many, there is fear fear in this community, but police say there is no credible threat to the school or the community. Wednesday morning, reports of live ammunition was found inside of a boy's bathroom. According to police, the administration notified both Dighton and Rehoboth Police Departments, and an investigation was launched. Again, it's disappointing that knowing people in our school would end up doing things like that. The school was placed on lockdown. A police response from Rehoboth, Dartmouth, Fall River, and Providence police all were here. A canine unit from the Bristol County Sheriff's Office on scene two. Calls you, text me today, and um, told me that he was. You know, in fear until he saw the police officer walking by that he wanted me to pick him up. After a canine search of the building, police say no other suspicious items were found. The lockdown was lifted around 12:30, but two minutes later, police say the building was evacuated after a faulty smoke detector went off. Everyone was let back in 20 minutes later. Eliana Raposo has spent the last four years here, and she says she's always felt safe. It does create some fear that you never know what can happen. This parent says he's having to emphasize the. Importance of education to ease the mind of his sophomore. He says it's unfortunate things like this are beginning to come with the territory. Now he's afraid to go back to school tomorrow. He said that tomorrow be, could be the third day and he's afraid something might happen. Well, the superintendent sent me a statement tonight. He says this kind of behavior creates angst for everyone. He says disciplinary actions will come once the investigation by police is completed, and those actions can look like pressing charges or expulsion for the students that are involved. He also adds there will be a police presence here at the school until the end of the year. Live in Dighton, I'm Chelsea Jones, 12 News.